All right, greetings, Leo. Welcome to your horoscope. Um, man, what a mess, right? <clears throat> uh, so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but here's the good news is like, you know, Aries occupies your ninth house. Ninth house is a guru. It's your father. It's higher education. It's foreign languages. It's foreign travel at times, distant travel. I don't expect you to be doing any of that, and if you are, you might be stuck somewhere because you can't get back. I have an Aries friend. I want to say hi to Shelly uh, over there in Maui this week. She's uh, stuck there for now, and um, I, mean, I can think of worse places to be stuck, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, we're stuck together, and... Um, it's, it just depends on, on you, and it's taking care of yourself and respecting other people's boundaries. At the same time, nurturing your game plan, nurturing that inner soul. That was like probably the best thing you can do. It's like a good relationship with someone else is going to bring it. It's going to start with self-love. Um, and right now, you might have conflict in, in your relationship to some extent. We've got Saturn there. We've got Mars there. I mean, the seventh house kind of softens them up, makes them sort of like a sweetheart. But there has been this kind of planetary war of stop and go, stop and go. And you might be in some kind of relationship where you're feeling that stop and go kind of energy. I don't know. You know, that's one way of looking at it. But generally, if you stay on the higher path, you do something to honor your father or your guru, your teachers, and keep moving forward, you're going to have a good time. This weekend seems lovely for you. And, you know, you just got to keep watching your health. The rest will take care of itself. Um.